morning, YouTube. So I just woke up. I just put the coffee machine on. Um, it is 12 o'clock. I'm not proud of myself. I did drink a little bit of wine last night, so I woke up with a little bit of a headache. But I decided I'm not gonna sit around all day and be a potato. That's just not gonna happen. But if you wanna sit around and be a potato, do it. Because you know what? There's nothing else to do, so no one's judging here. But anyways, so as you can tell from the title of the video, we are gonna get into my makeup routine. Um, so yeah, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so we are here in my dining room. This is actually where I do my makeup every day, simply because the lighting from outside is so good. And um, I don't have a makeup room. So, and I hate standing when I do my makeup. That is a no for me. So I'd rather sit at the kitchen table than stand in the bathroom. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, I'm by no means a makeup artist, so if I get any names wrong, please don't come for me. I'm trying my best, okay? Okay, so um, I do start with the Pore Professional as a primer for my face. It is the benefit. Uh, you can get this product at Sephora. A lot of my products you can actually get from Sephora. Um, or MAC, most of them. So honestly, your hands are your best friend when you're doing makeup. I don't care what anybody says. I'm telling you how it is. I use my hands for a lot of things, even though you're not supposed to. But like, God gave you these tools, so like, I wouldn't use them, I don't, I don't know. Next, I use my Fenty foundation. You don't need a lot of this foundation, to be honest. It is a super thick product. Um, and it actually does darken as like a few hours go on. So you don't need a lot. This is a foundation brush that I'm using. We can also get this at Sephora. try and do this quick for you guys. I don't really wear makeup to be honest that much anymore because like where is there to go? And like who's putting makeup on to just sit at home? I can tell you right now I'm not. If you are honestly like kudos to you because holy that's dedication and like self-love all in one because you feel better when you do your makeup. I just don't have the energy to do it. So no. Um, next I will use, oh, this is just an e.l.f. product. So you can get this at like your local drugstore. Um, it's the Hydrating Concealer. I use this a lot. As you can tell, I have really bad bags under my eyes. So this is like gold. For people like me, who never sleep, but sleep all day, like I don't get it. All right. So I just dab this in. I also use the same foundation brush. Probably not supposed to do that. I honestly don't know. Okay. Click under the eyes. It honestly just lightens up your uh, under your eye area. It brightens up your face. It actually like makes you look more awake, even when you're not. I will use my, then you can also get this at a local drugstore. Uh, this is the CoverGirl Clean and Professional. Um, it's like a concealer powder. I just put this under, under my eyes and over my eyelids as well. This holds in your um, concealer longer too, to be honest, I find. Could be wrong with that, honestly. I'm just doing my makeup. Next, I'll move on to my eyebrows. Uh, I use a couple things for my brows because I find like that's like the most bold place on your face that everybody looks at. Um, so I'll first I'll brush them out. I don't actually use this product. This used to be an old eyebrow product of mine. Um, and I just use the brush for it now. Because it's my favorite eyebrow brush. And why fix what's broken? All right, next I'll use my Benefit Gimme Brow. I'll show you that there. 
Uh, this product's great, actually. It fills in your eyebrows. It has like an, where, there we go. Has like an eyebrow brush on it, um, but then the makeup's on it as well, so it just brush out your eyebrow, and it fills it in for you. Then I will use my um, MAC Eyebrow Pencil. Looks like this. And you just brush. I always just use this on like the bottom area of my brow. So guys, I have dead skin on my face because my face is dry what I was talking about yesterday. It's the worst. Okay, then that. Then I'll brush them out again with my old eyebrow brush. Kinda looks pretty dingy to be honest, but you know what? It works. Perfect, done that. Awesome. Okay, next I will move on to my um, bronzer and my highlighters. So I use the Tarte Pro Glow for my bronzer. Um, there is highlighters in it as well, but I honestly just use the bottom bronzer. Like I have destroyed this palette. It is a disaster. Um, a lot of my makeup is like I. It's it's always broken. It breaks. I need a better makeup system. So I just use my brush, dab a little on here. I always tap the brush because you don't want the excess uh, makeup flaking off onto your skin for the places where you don't want the makeup. Then I just go along under your cheekbone. Really accentuate so you can already see that my cheekbone is more prominent. Like so. Gives your face a skinnier look. I always like kiss my lips together when I do it. And then I always go under, makes your jawline um, longer and skinnier. So it gives females more of that jawline that they want. If you don't want, that's fine too. And then always don't forget when you have bronzer to go up here as well. One of my friend's moms used to work in like makeup and she's the one who actually told me that. So always go in a three. So I've been doing it ever since. And then I always use my bronzer and I go along my nose. It makes your nose look skinnier. It makes you, it gives you that little button nose that everybody wants. And it just defines it, to be honest. All right. And then under your bottom lip, just here, makes your bottom lip look thicker and more pouty. And that's it for bronzer. Um, for my highlighter, I will use the Milk Highlighter. You can get this at um, Sephora as well. I just put this all along my cheekbone. I rub it in with my finger. I put it on my nose. Gives you more of that button nose. Just at the tip. On my other cheekbone. Just like so. I also put it on the cupid's brow of my lip makes my lips look bigger um and then i'll also use my elf uh, highlighter as well uh, i like to use both and then i just use my finger and i go over on my nose my lip and in the eyebrow area as well like that. And then I will move on to my 
eyeshadow. A lot of people like to do their concealer and their foundation under their eyes after their eyeshadows because um, your eyeshadow can actually flake off your eyelids when you're doing it and go under here and it actually look, makes you look more tired. Um, I personally don't do that. Some, <laughs> I use the uh, Sephora uh, eyeshadows. So this is what it looks like on the inside there. Uh, they're all like neutral colors. I don't like anything too like crazy, I guess. Um, so I always use like a shimmery base for my whole eye lid. I'm not gonna do anything crazy today. I'm just gonna like do a simple look. I'll do more of like a me going out look another time. So that's like the shimmery that I put over my whole eyelid. And then I'll take a different brush. This one's like more of like a fat brush. This one's more of a angled brush, I'd say. See so guys, I'm no makeup specialist. I have no idea what these brushes are called. I just do my makeup. I wake up every day. I guess not every day anymore. I used to wake up every day and crawl out of bed and put makeup on and I just, don't know. So as you can see, I use my finger here. I pull my eye up a bit. You're not supposed to really pull on your eyes, so don't pull too hard. But I always like to just get the corner area here and I drag it inwards in this motion so that it actually blends. Like, cause you don't want to look like a line when you're doing your makeup. Just not a nice look. And keep blending, blending, blending. And if I were like going out, out, I would use like more colors. Like I go pretty, I could do my eyeshadow for like half an hour. But on a day to day basis, who has time for that? And blended, you can see. It's not like drastic. You can see where one ends, one finishes, kind of, but not like a straight line. I see it all the time. I'm like, come on, just blend a little. We just need to blend a little. All right, next I will um, use my eyeliner. I honestly just use an Essence Super Lasting. You can get this at Shoppers Drug Mart. I don't use crazy expensive eyeliners. I don't really wear eyeliner all that much. Uh, it's kind of just a little underneath for when I put my eyelashes on. Uh, so I just do a small little line. You ever like stand in front of the mirror with your mascara and you're like, that's me when I do everything. Then do the other eye. This brush is great though on this one because it is like a little hook. Um, so it really helps. Okay, so sometimes I'll just throw some mascara on at this point and um, call it a day. And sometimes I'll put a little wing on the end of my eyeliner. It just depends on what I'm feeling that day. But right now we're gonna do my um, eyelashes. So I use the Sephora Collection eyelash eyelashes. So it's their House of Lashes uh, line. Uh, right now I have the Mary Mary Gold set. It is their holiday uh, collection. I actually really, really like these eyelashes. Uh, I've worn them a few times already because if you don't use your eyelashes more than once, what are you doing? Um, yeah, so they're kind of just, they're pretty full. They're looking a little dingy right now. Not too bad, but like it's almost time to get new ones. Um, yeah, so this comes with a the House of Lashes glue. And this is the only glue that hasn't been bothering my eyes. I've been wearing eyelashes for a really long time and in the last year, for some reason, my eyes water like crazy. Like, so if you can give me an explanation as to why that's happening, I would greatly appreciate it. I could be allergic to it. I, could, I don't know. Um, but yeah, please let me know in a comment below because I'd really love to know. So, and then I just throw my eyelashes on. Like so. There's one. So the ends are good to go. Yep, that one's on good. Okay, and then the other one. 
So if you're wondering, oh my God, how are you able to put your eyelashes on so easy and so quick? Well, I used to be a competitive dancer. So I've been wearing eye fake eyelashes since I was like seven, eight years old. Six years old, maybe. No, I don't think our dance teacher made us wear them that, that young. She was a nice lady. Okay. So, eyelashes on. Um, I'll let this one sit for a bit, but I will do my mascara right away on this one. Uh, so I do use the Benefit um, mascara there. And the brush is pretty great. But yeah, and then I just go over the eyelashes because your own eyelashes you don't want to see. So if you put mascara over top, it kind of just blends them all together. Whether you have long eyelashes, short eyelashes, doesn't matter. And then I'll do a little bit on the bottom, not too much. Unless like you're going to the club or something, I don't know. And then I'll do the bottom on the other side first, gives the eyelashes up top time to dry. And then I'll go over it. The left side. Perfect, okay. And then my eyes are done for the day. So this would be something that I wear kind of if I really feel like doing my makeup. So after that though, I will use my Urban Decay setting spray. This just makes sure that your makeup stays on your face all day. Just a few sprays, let it dry. Make sure it's a little away from your face. If it's too close, it, it is liquid. So it wouldn't be good for you. And then I will use a MAC um, lipstick. I'm more of like a neutral, like natural look kind of on my lips. I don't like anything too bright. I don't like anything super pink, super red. Um, so right now, um, this is my favorite. I got it actually as a gift for my friend Kelly from Christmas for Christmas, and it's the Velvet Teddy um, from Mac. And then that would be like my makeup for the day. So yeah, pretty quick transformation. Um, I don't look as bad as I did this morning when I first started the video. However, yeah, so that is my makeup routine. Um, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below and subscribe and let me know what you guys wanna see next. Um, I'll see you soon. Thanks for coming.